uh, the shape what we are going to draw is yeah this one but our aim in here is not a perfect shape to draw what we had learned in the theory class was about uh, drawing so some simple shapes aligning them manually and uh, giving them some sort of attributes let's say like uh, the positioning in x y and z axis uh, rotation or scaling it we did these things now we are going to practice these uh, methods what you have learned in here for building this shape so let me just minimize this picture now first and let us try to prepare our environment what I have told you was about at the beginning before you build your shapes you have to set at least two parameters first one is about the units so for uh, restarting your units you need to go for the customized section from the customized there is a unit setup tab in here once you click the unit setup tab now you can define your measuring value Either if you are going to draw this shape as let's say a real life shape so you can use the meters or if this was a toy let's say so in that case you can go for centimeters or millimeters what I want to draw in here is actually okay let it be centimeters I'm going to draw it as a, let's say model so I select the centimeters in here as my unit and then I click OK. I'm going to make this viewport to be big in size. So for making a viewport big in size, after you select your viewport, you need to click Alt and W. So that makes that viewport to, big, to be big. Okay? Here what we see are the grids, but these number of grids are not enough for me to draw. So what I want is just modify these grids. If you would like to modify these grids, we have here four snipping tools. The tools which has the magnet shape on them. Just right click on any of them and it opens a pop-up window. In this pop-up window, we have home grid tab. Now I click the home grid tab. Inside this home grid tab, I'm defining the spacing. I would like to have five centimeter spacings in between every grid lines and I want to see uh, the grid lines okay in every okay 20 boxes or let it be 10 boxes that means that 10 times 5 50 so in every half meter I see a grid line there and what I want to see, I want to see in total 20 boxes in every direction. I click enter. Now, here it is. Now, this is our environment. So, as you can see that we set our environment. Now, I want to see everything in scale. So, I click on Z to make it zoom. But there is nothing. That's why I don't see anything. Okay, I, I'm just scrolling via mouse. And now, here it is. This is the environment. The very first shape, what I'm going to draw is the water tank because the shelter or the rings or the legs, they're all going to be drawn accordingly that water tank. So for drawing that water tank, as you can see from the shape, it is bubbled in the below and we don't see what's in the top. But I would like to draw this shape via using the capsule. So the capsule is a way of drawing which is under the extended parameters. And here extended parameters we have a capsule in here. Now I click the capsule. Once we click the capsule we have several steps to draw our shape. First one you click the left mouse button and you drag it out. This draws the radius. You release the mouse, now the, I'm not clicking any button in the mouse, and you drag the mouse up. So it draws the height of the capsule. Finally, you make one more left click. Now, drawing of this capsule is finished. If you want to quit drawing the capsule, still it is active, 
you need to make a right click. Now I made a right click and drawing of the capsule is finished. What I want to do in here is, I want to give some properties, means uh, the radius and the height. So when it is selected, I click the modify section. Now inside the modify, modify section, I'm able to set the radius as well as the height. I'm going to define the radius as, okay, let's say uh, it has the radius as uh, 20 centimeters. And the height, I want to have a height, okay, as 100 centimeters. So this is going to be my, uh, the water tank. Okay. Now, what is remaining is I must center this shape. So the other, uh, other pieces of the shape will be aligned related to it. To center my shape, when I select the shape, either you can come and click on this icon, which is select and move, or from the keyboard, you can just hit the letter W. If you hit the letter W, it selects it as well. This is the shortcut for it. Now, I have selected it, and I select the, uh, let's say, the tool for moving it. So I'm just going to align it to the center. So aligning to the center, I am supposed to write the X value as 0, Y value as 0, and Z value as 0. Now, it is at the center of my shape. What is remaining is to elevate my shape up. To elevate the shape up, either you can change the Z value by moving the arrows in here, or you can write any value in here. So, uh, for example, here I'm going to move my shape uh, two meters up. So two meters up means that it is 200 centimeters, but it is so high because we are drawing a model, uh, 100 centimeters okay. So it is in here now. It is in here. So the, the shape is 100 centimeter higher than the ground. What I'm going to draw next is the ring. Is the ring. So while I'm going to draw the ring, I want to align it related to this capsule. And now I'm just looking in the perspective loop. I'm looking in the perspective loop. It is better if you draw your ring when you are looking at it from the top. So you can see either the radiuses are matching or not. So to draw the shape on the top loop, either you can go and click here the top loop in here, but this is still not the, let's say, proper top loop. If you would like to see properly in top, let me just make it back again here. If you want to draw the shape properly in top loop, from the keyboard, you can click on letter T, or from the perspective side, you can click in here top. They both opens the same viewport. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the letter T. Now, I'm seeing the shape from the top loop. While I'm seeing the shape from the top loop, I'm just going to zoom in via mouse. Here I am zoomed in. Okay. Now, I'm going to draw the ring around my capsule. So I click the create section. From the create section, we have standard parameters. And here we have the tube. The tube draws uh, a shape like a ring. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select an outside edge and I will draw the ring. This is the outside of the ring. I release the left mouse button and I push it inside. It draws the inner ring, then I click but not hold the left mouse button and I drag it up and then I click for one more time. So actually I draw a ring, but because I'm looking from the top, I'm not able to see how, what is the height it is. That's okay, I will, cons I will manage it later on. My aim to do this ring was making it centered around the uh, what we say the capsule. 
So what I'm going to do is while this ring is selected, I uh, click on the select and move tool. And I am now going to position it center in my axis. Sorry. Okay. And here it is. Now, it is center like the capsule was. What I need to do is I need to get close enough and I need to check whether it is properly uh, having the same amount of radius. Now I'm scrolling in and this is the shape what I see. If you're not happy about the shape what you see in here because it has the edges, you can do two things. First of all, you can just pass in the shaded mode. By the shaded mode, it releases, actually, it removes these shadow effects and help you to see it properly. Secondly, you can go to wireframe loop. The wireframe loop, you can click in here and you can select the wireframe from here. So it shows the things as the wireframe it is. Means it is uh, the way of the edges and the vertexes. But, okay, I'm just going to make it in shaded mode only. What I will do is this. I click this capsule and I check the radius. Radius is 20. Then I click my ring and I am going to set only the inside radius to become 20, like the capsule. So now I'm sure that they are having the same amount of radius. That means that it is aligned. Now that's good. Now I have the capsule and I have the ring. They are all drawn properly. I need to see from the perspective side and I need to align them relatively. So to go to perspective side, you can either come here, click from this top and change the perspective in here. But what we see in here is something uh, not expected to see because the camera is zoomed in. So what you need to do is you need to click on letter Z. So it zooms everything. You can just double click in here. There's a small icon in here it changes the shape. Now we see them all. As you can see that before we were not able to see the ring's height because we were seeing it from the top. But the height of this ring is a lot. What I need to do is I need to reduce the amount of height. I told you that don't go and make transform in here. It makes problems in the further. Better if you go here and Click on the height section and give and hide in here. Okay, I'm just going to give the height as, uh, let's say, just 10 centimeter. Okay, now it has the height as 10 centimeter. And I click the W key from the keyboard. I select it, I click the W. Now I'm just elevating it up in here. So now the ring is placed. The ring is placed. That's good. We did a great thing in here. But as I told you before, it is better to look at your shape from different angles. So you will have an idea to be sure that either you draw it well or not. Now I'm just checking the shape from different angles. Yeah, that is properly aligned. I like it. So now I'm just going to coming back the original look. What I need to draw now are the stands, are the stands. I'm going to draw one of the stands, then I will make four copies of it. Okay, so let me build it. What I'm going to do is a stand, a stand is a box. So I just click the box from the create section in the standard parameters, and I click just making a random box like this. No need to be precise in here in the first creating section. After I draw the box, now I click in the modify section. In the modify section, I have decided that this stand is going to have five centimeters the length, five centimeters the width, and what was the height I elevated my capsule? It was 100 centimeters. So the height of this stand 
can be a bit more than 100. Let it be 120. Okay? Now, I have drawn my box. What is remaining? To place this box under the ring. To place the box under the ring. So, to see it, whether it is really under the ring or not, I must see it from the top looking angle. So, here I just change my position into top again. This is the ring and this is the capsule. I just zoom out by scrolling the mouse. Here is the stand. What I will do is I will just bring my stand somewhere here. It's not supposed to be, it's not have to be precise as I told you. But I am not able to see the things through the object. We have a tool to make something transparent. I'm just scrolling in. Uh, either you can just go for the wire framing, what we did before. Okay, so from the wire framing, I can see where the box is and I can just move related to here. But let me just give you one more hint to make it. While you're in the shaded mode, while you're in the shaded mode, if you select one of your shapes and from the keyboard, if you click on Alt X, it becomes transparent. So if it is transparent, you can see, actually I'm able to see in here slightly, uh, let me just make the color of the box to become a bit darker so you can see too. You can now see the box as well through the shape. This is half transparent mode. But uh, if you don't want to go for this, uh, let's say, detail, you can just make again that Alt X. So you select the shape and you will make it again opaque. So we cannot see behind now. What I will try in here is that uh, using the wire framing. I select the shaded mode and I paste pass in the wire framing. But this time I'm just going to change into wire framing from the keyboard. Okay, if you click on F3, it turns the wire framing. F3 turns the wire framing. It's a keyboard, a keyboard shortcut. Now, what I want to make is I just want to position this box somewhere in here. Okay, uh, okay, I, I like this position, that's good. Now, I want to make one copy of this box. I want to make one copy of this box. To make a copy is okay by Ctrl C, Ctrl V, like the regular applications. But I'm going to show you now another way of making a copy. When you select your shape from the keyboard, click and hold the Shift key. When you are holding the Shift key, select the direction where you want to create the copy and drag your shape this way. When you release, it asks you that what to do. What I want to do is a copy. So still the copy is selected and I click OK. Now it made me one copy of that uh, stand. What I want to make is I want to make one more copy which is coming to this way. So I select both of these boxes, I select both of these boxes while they are here selected. Here selected. Again the shift is clicked. Again the shift is clicked and I'm holding it. I'm dragging in the Y axis. Here it is. So now what I have is I have four stands. I have four stands. Now I am turning back the function F3 so I'm seeing the shapes now. Let's see what we have built so far. I'm just turning back the perspective look. To go back in the perspective look you can either click in here the perspective or from the keyboard you can click the P letter. This is the perspective look. Because we were zoomed in, we are looking in a different angle. You need to go for here the looking angle modifier. Here it is. So that's good. We done it well. Just the problem is uh, I don't like the legs in this color. I'm just going to change the colors of the legs. 
I would like to have a brownish color for the legs. Okay, just a minute. Here it is. Okay. Here it is. Here it is. And I'm now going to rotate my shape this way. And we have one more. Here it is. Now, I have drawn the stance as well. What I want to do is, I want to bend the stance a little bit. Actually, not bend, but tilting it. I want to give some angles. Okay? So, for giving that angle, I'm just going to look at from the top view again. I'm going to look at from the top look again. I'm not going to select here and click T for always. When I want to see from the top looking angle, I just hit the letter T from the keyboard. Now I'm looking at from the top. Now I'm looking at from the top. In here, what I would like to do is, I don't want to see the tube. I don't want to see the capsule. What I want to see are just these four stands. Okay? Now, I'm just going to select one of them and I will just give some angles. I will just give some angles in here. For changing the angle, either you can just go and click in here or from the keyboard you can just hit the letter E. If I hit the letter E, you will see that here is going to be enabled. I hit the letter E and it is enabled. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to give an angle in here in both in X and Y axis. So I'm just going to give the axis here, okay. Um, I'm just going to give from the keyboard it is minus 10, but minus 10 is so great and wrong in direction. What I want to do is I'm just going to delete that minus and I'm just going to give in here, okay, 5 degrees. Even 5 degrees is a lot, but uh, okay, let it be 5 degrees. And then I'm just going to change in the X, in the X, again the 5 degrees. But this 5 degree is coming this word which I don't want, I want to make it back side, so I'm just going to make it minus 5. Here it is. It is positioned well. Let me just uh, really reduce this 5 into 3, so it will look better, I guess. And I'm just going to reduce it into 3. Because I give them a precise degrees, I can just select the other shapes, and I can just give the same amount of degrees in here. Okay, 3 in here. That's good. And I want to make uh, minus 3 in here. Okay, so minus. Okay, plus 3 in here. So that's good. And I click this one now. For this one, I click the 3. Okay. But this is minus 3 because uh, this is the, in another shape of, in another direction of my uh, tank. And I'm going to click in here. Three. Here it is good. I click this one. Now in here I'm just going to make this one again minus three. That's good. And four here I'm just going to make the three, sorry, the minus three because the direction has changed. Now they are all uh, tilted three degrees towards the tube. Sorry, towards the actually the uh, water tank. Now I am enabling them. Okay, here it is. Let us see how it looks. I'm now coming to perspective look from letter P and I'm just changing my looking angle. Here it is. Ah, that's good. That looks fine. What left is, according to our uh, setup for before, uh, we just need to have a shelter on the top and we need to have the support pieces between the legs. Now, first of all the shelter I am going to draw the shelter from here, the standard parameters, the cone. I am going to draw the cone by two ways. First of all, I draw the circle outwards. Then I am moving the cone height upward. I select, I click the left key, but I'm not holding the button. Then I reduce the 
tip of the, uh, let's say, top. Then I click for one more time and right click. What I did is the shelter, but this shelter may not be good in size. What I need to do is I need to position this shelter top in here and see how it looks. I know that this is all aligned according to zero and zero. So what I will do is I'm just clicking the select and move tool and I am deciding the uh, X and Y coordinates. Just wait. Into zero and zero. Now, it is in a good position now. It's just below the tube. What I will do is, I'm just going to look at from the left loop. If I look from the left loop, I will just see that how high I have elevated. So to go for the left loop, I'm uh, clicking the L button from the keyboard. Here it is. This is the left loop. And I hit the letter Z to zoom in. Now I'm selecting my shape and I'm elevating it up in here. Okay, here it is. What I want to do is, I want to, I'm scrolling in by the mouse and I'm zooming in. I want to increase the bottom radius high enough to uh, have a good shelter around the tube, around the water tank. So I click the modify section from the modify section, I'm just increasing the radius. That's good. And I'm really reducing a little bit of the height. Okay, this is better. So if I just uh, select the shape and rotate here, okay. A little bit of the height. Yeah, this is good. Now, if I look at this shape in the perspective look, I click the letter P from the keyboard. And I, I'm looking at it from the original position. Now I'm checking the shape from different looking angles. That looks okay. Now, what is remaining? The supports between the legs. Plus, I want to have uh, a water channel from the bottom of the tube to the ground. Let me just put that water, can uh, water pipe before. So I'm just going to click the create section. From here, I'm going to click on the cylinder. And I draw a cylinder roughly in here. I am having a problem with the mouse. Okay, so here is the cylinder. That's a huge one. I'm just going to modify it. What I will do is this. I select the modify section. From the modify section, I'm going to give the radius of this tube into two centimeters, a very tiny tube. And I will give the height as 120 because I know that I have left the water uh, tank 100 meter up. If I give it 120, it will go inside the water, water tank. And what left is I'm just going to position it to the center. So when I'm selecting it, I'm giving the X as 0, Y as 0, and Z as zero. Now it's positioned to the center. So let me just see what I, we have done. Actually, here we see it. The tank is having the water pipe as well. That's good. Just four support pieces are left. Just four support pieces are left. Let me just draw them as well. I'm just going to draw a box for those support pieces. Here's the box. And let me just draw the box in here. And any sort of box, it's not supposed to be precise. Uh, what I'm going to do is I just want to see it from the left looking angle. Uh, sorry, from the front looking angle. I'm just going to right click for quitting to creating section. I click in the right. I click in the right. So, uh, sorry, front by F key from the keyboard. And I'm zooming in letter Z. Now I zoom in for this shape. What I want to do is I want to take this shape here somewhere where I'm just going to put the support piece. Sorry, not you. This one. 
Okay, I'm going to put the support in here. I'm going to put the support in here. As you can see that this support is longer than the legs. So it's not logical. So what I need to do is I need to make some changes in here. I select the modify section and I'm giving the length as 4 uh, and the height as 4 and I'm just going to change the width from 37 into 25. Okay, now this support leg is now shorter. Let me give a bit bigger value. Let it be 27. And here it is. It is uh, very well indeed. But the point is, hence it looks like it is in between the legs, but it is not actually in between the legs. I need to bring it in between the legs. So for being sure about it, I'm changing the looking angle into top. While I'm looking in the top, I see that that is here. It's apart from our shape. So what I want to see is, I don't want to see the shelter. Where it is? Okay. I don't want to see the shelter. I don't want to see the ring. And I don't want to see the tube. What I want to see is just the legs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to bring it down in here and here it's okay. It's good in position. What I will do is I will just make a copy of this. I'm just going to make a copy of this. So for making the copy as I had shown you before, if you hold the letter, sh uh, the shift key from your keyboard and if you drag it, here it is. I have a copy of it. And what I'm going to do is something interesting now. I select my shapes. I select my shapes. Shift is still clicked. Now I'm clicking the rotation tool. From the rotation tool, I'm just going to rotate them in 90 degrees. Okay, something like that. I'm just going to show you how to be precise in 90 degrees uh, in next class. I'm not showing it now because I didn't show the other class as well. That's why I'm not showing it in here. So I click in here, this look. So I have four copies of it. Let me enable the other looks. And I'm just passing in the perspective look. Let's see it in proper dimensions, oh sorry, proper angles. And here it is. We just finished off this water tank drawing okay so let me stop recording it uh, I have done